Watson and the offense. And very quickly, Clemson will pick up eight. On a throw to Artavis Scott. Gain of out to the, make it a six yard gain out to the 43 yard line. Impressive to me is the completion percentage for Deshaun Watson. And it gets better into the fourth quarter as the game goes on. Nice little grab that time. Starting with Zach Brooks that can handle the load. Watson with a nifty little fake, but he is going to be swarmed under. Now this Wake Forest defense. So third and long here for Watson. Looking all the way, coming back to Scott. And that's a first down at the 38-yard line. That is now here is a backwards pass. And wide open. That's Renfro at the 10 to the 5. And inside there, the touchdown saving tackle. They like to keep it in Watson's hands down here. And took a hard shot. He's still in the end zone. Brandon Schaub met him at the goal. Since they lost to Texas early in the year. No, they look awesome right now. No question. Baker Mayfield has put him here this afternoon. Well, we expect to see a lot of C.J. Fuller, too, number 27, as the game goes on. Watson does it. Boy, that is a swat. Holy smoke. In front of this thing just at the last second. Watch him. He's up here, the, the uh, safety, and he makes a nice cut, and I don't think Watson saw him. That could have been six quick the other way. Yeah, he ends in family. Watching this one here in person or on TV as Watson on the design draw takes a hit. Coverage to a run defender. Watson looking deep down the field. One-on-one -on -one coverage to the end zone. Touchdown, Clemson. She's just an unbelievable throw from the quarterback to Sean Watson because there's no shake or bake in this route. It's just run as fast as you can and peak goes right by. It's from Australia, never playing a lick of football. He put a video of himself kicking with his club on YouTube, decided to give college a shot, and Wake Forest said, come on. He said he misses hitting people, by the way. Don't we all? Hopper in motion. Throwback. Oh, he's right there. Wide open hopper. There isn't anybody near him. Now they're going to finally try to catch up to him. And he slips the tackle. Hopper inside the 10 and finally. Again, uh, watch this action right here. That corner is going to pick off the safety right there who has coverage. And they actually even switched and got the wrong guy. They had an inside outside deal and they blew it in terms of who had who. And that left it wide open for Hopper to get. Still haven't seen C.J. Fuller. Watson, strike to the end zone, touchdown, Dion. We get it today. Yeah, and Dabo Sweeney was so proud of this group. And talked about the legacy that they are setting. Gainer for Deshaun Watson, who goes with an empty backfield set here. He has all day. Down the middle of the field, and the traffic, and it just simply open. Are there any issues? Is everything working out okay? Uh, by the way, no issues, but he is a big time leader for this program. So now Deshaun Watson will take off on a called run. He'll get out of Georgia, unfortunately injured. He was a Heisman candidate early in the year. Watson with a shoulder shake, lobs it down the field, and it's picked off by Brad Watson. And Watson's got a little running room here. Got one good block and a great tackle to the 48-yard line that time by Joe Gore, the lineman, who didn't practice much this week while dealing with a personal issue and did not start the game. But he comes up with a tackle there, but a rare mistake by Deshaun Watson. Yeah, he just underthrew the football and he threw it into coverage. Now, he did, the, as you mentioned, Dave, the double move pump right there. And that, that, the other Watson did not buy into that fake at all. He forced Kane out of bounds even uh, on the uh, route. And so the ball ends up in Watson's hands. Watson to Watson, but not the right Watson, at least if you're Deshaun Watson. We're watching one right here in the Clemson quarterback. Deshaun Watson. And he'll, a little pop pass at the last second caught by Artavis Scott. He's pushed out of that time. It was an overhand pitch. And that's intercepted. A terrible throw. Hunter Williams has it. And Williams will get down to the 20-yard line. Another tackle by Joe Gore. And Watson, I, I can't explain that one, Ray. I'll leave that one to you. Well, it's very uncharacteristic. He did not see the linebacker show up in that throwing lane. He started eight of nine, but he's missed his last four, including a pair of interceptions. And you're going to see the linebacker just show up late. Right there, you see him 
sneaking underneath and I just don't think Watson saw him as my only uh, explanation because Hunter Williams was right out there in plain sight in the throwing lane. So Wake Forest this is the biggest gift they've had all day lost a yard there empty backfield set for the Tigers. They'll go for a tunnel screen that time to Kane and he is in trouble caught from behind Buff. defensive conference anyway. Yes. And Clemson just has 23 second quarter total yards. Watson late pressure good throw a little bit behind the receiver but a great cradle catch by Kane at it really is Mike Elko does an outstanding job of getting the most out of him and Watson slips at the 47 yard line he almost got loose but Wendell Dunn number 14 got enough of a claw on him to slow him down to make him fall and this is where Watson is the most dangerous when he pulls it down and you're right Dunn just uh, hit him on the hip and then got the shoestring late or Deshaun Watson would still be running. Third down and eight. That's an interesting look there for Wake. Six men up there. See who comes and who doesn't. Five of them do. One hangs back. Watson takes his shot. Receiver breaks free. Beautiful throw. Touchdown, Clemson. Jermon Hopper. On the outside. And watch how he's going to beat the receiver, the defender on the, the press. And that, to me, that's not sound defense to not get any kind of hand on the man half time leading by 20. That is not a take a knee looking offensive formation. Watson's going to fire it across the middle and pulled it back and now he's going to hang on to it. Wave. Well, you know, like he had it on the conditioning that you've had throughout your career. So now this gives Clemson some thought here with 23 seconds and still a timeout. They go underneath. This is Fuller and he gets into weight under the 30 to get into that range. Watson to the 35, 34 maybe. All of his other attributes. You could even run the football here if you wanted to or if Watson has to. Instead, he'll fire Same to play. a wide open receiver and it's dropped. One deep into the end zone? Dry no, I, no, I still think you can get a field goal. You have that timeout. Get yourself another five to ten yards. Send him a bunch of them deep, go underneath, and that's the call. He wants to get on with his life. He'll stay in the block this time. Watson's going to fire. There's that long throw and Watson's arm talent. That post corner cut that he'll come back inside on. They're going to go one on one here with Sharon Peak and he will be chased. Clemson doing a pretty good job throwing it. Wake Forest brings up the pressure right up the gut. Watson being chased but he is good on the run. That time he just gets rid of it. Zach Brooks was. <laughs> Don't have to worry about it. He stepped out of bounds. Pulled up very quickly. Uh, most of them not arriving on campus until June. Tunnel screen, Renfro makes the catch, and he is stuffed. He and that uh, got him this opportunity at Wake Forest, and he's got a formula, and he sticks to it. Well, fourth and three. We mentioned they've been very successful, 75% the Tigers, and they're going to add to that right there. First night end for Easy you. Formation, offense, five-yard penalty from the previous spot, fourth down. Easy. A little bit of a blitz here as Watson has plenty of time to get off a long throw as he in back. Uh, can take this away when the ball is delivered on time and in an accurate fashion. When the old career ended. Watson sensed the pressure and faked the pass and just took the easiest route he could. 5.3 per tote and it makes a huge difference. Watson ad libbing. Yeah, he's dangerous when he does that. That's a great throw. Hopper making the catch. Helpful receiver downfield on the offense. Number 75. Five yard penalty. Still second down. That's mid brought here. Well, they could have the most successful senior class in Clemson history. They will have it if the Tigers win this game. Watson, this play has worked before. A lot of contact there. And I still don't see And we'll take another look at this pattern. And you're right, Dave. It's simply a go route and Watson covering. Just it's cool. understand the argument why that wouldn't be interference. Watson's going to try again on third and 14. They seem to be spying him with Chubb, and Watson gets away from him. Needs a block. He got one block, but he needed a lot more than that. But he did. 27. Be caught at the 21, 22 yard line. A quick out by Peak. And they're offsides. Good play. Watson knows it. Just going to hurry down the field, and he 
he's going to see if he gets a flag there. See, and then it looked like they got Watson in pass interference. Number eight, that penalty is declined. Holding, defense, number 25. 10-yard penalty, first down. Oh, the timing of that flag, the ball was in the air. I don't know how they differentiate holding and turn or pass interference on it. Ball's in the air, and there was the, the grab. So, I guess. Yeah. Watson, across the middle, it's deflected. Renfro was open, but somebody got a hand on that pass. It might have been Lee, the middle linebacker, number eight. Yeah, the entire offensive line chopped at the defenders to try and get guys. Watch this offensive line. They get almost everybody down except for big number 36 was able to, to keep his feet, Tyler Harris, and uh, save the play a little bit. But you see that a lot on, on short passes, quick passes. The offensive line will try to chop the defense down to get them hands down. You see Watson's third down numbers here. Uh, he's going to try to invent something on the run, but he's really good at it. He's going to chase out of bounds. He had the first down. 504. And Watson's going to unload. He got hit, too. And that's going to be way, way, way out of bounds. At the end of this one, and that's why you, you sometimes are leery about leaving that quarterback coach for two weeks. They always talk about his football intelligence, his poise. And how much they're trusting him more and more, and they listen to him more and more. Yeah, he will suggest plays. And that'll be a first down for C.J. Fuller. Gigantic game next week. A little tunnel screen underneath. Bedlam for the Big 12 championship. Remember, the Big 12 does not have a championship game. That caused some problems last year in the minds of many. Watson on the run, wide open receiver. Why not? You got Fuller, and he's flipped. At the 27-yard line by Dan Sell. Get out of baby! Oh, we'll be dancing tonight. I promise you. <laughs> yeah, what will the post-game dance be for for Dabo tonight?